Yo, what is up guys, Dark here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a bit of OU Ladder, uh, some nice, just uh, casual OU Ladder. Um, using a team that one of my friends passed me, so uh, shout out to him for that. So, uh, I'm just going to get into the first battle without further ado. Um, this counts, I mean, fairly high. Uh, it's like 100 at the moment or something, so uh, hopefully we can get some decent battles. Uh, might take a little while to search for one, so I'm just going to pause until we find a battle. So I found a battle against my buddy Ender, <laughs> which is kind of funny. <laughs> what is he using? <laughs> so, uh, this should be funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, okay. What do I lead with against this? <laughs> um, I think I lead Breloom. Do I? Do I lead Breloom? I can also lead. I can't lead Zonk. I think. I think Breloom's fine. Breloom's fine. <laughs> what is this team? Oh my god. Ender. <laughs> oh my. Uh, all right. Uh, what do I do against this? Um, it's fine. I'll but let's see crit. <laughs> um, I think I'll just bullet seed again. A. <laughs> Get predicted. Stop! Why am I getting two hits? Why are you doing this to me? Alright, five hits, let's get it. It's fine, because I'm just stalling out turns of, uh... Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so he goes into this. I'm tempted to just go out to, uh, Starmie here. Should I go- Do I go out to Starmie here, though? Do I? I'm tempted to just Starmie and Hydro. Because that way, um, I'm pretty sure he's just going to Encore here. And Hydro just puts in work against pretty much everything, so... I think this is a fine play. I'm pretty sure he's going to Encore and maybe just, just, like, stop me from spinning. So, yeah. Hopefully I can hit my Hydro here, so he stops him getting up rocks, so, uh... Obviously Volk is not pressured as much. Wait, what, what can he even do? He just mementos now. <laughs> Got stop. <laughs> so I go Bishop here, and I get a plus four. <laughs> Don't have, is this going to be like HP fighting or something? What does this do for you? <laughs> End of it. What can he even do? He has he has to hope I get paralyzed. <laughs> Is this man actually serious? What? I have no words. I actually have no words. <laughs> so um do I stack something here? I think I can, but anything I go out to, to sack just loses to Smeagol anyway. Yeah, I figured he'd <laughs> Damn you, Ender. Um, what the fuck is this team? So, um, he's going to be able to get off his... Oh, sorry. Um, blocking bad, of course. His Tailwind end, which is, ends, which is nice. I'm hoping I do enough to Smeagol, that's the only problem. <laughs> He's gonna Cotton Guard here, that's for certain. And if he doesn't Cotton Guard, then he just loses the knock. So uh, I go through, of course, which is uh, nice. nice. So I go Breloom here. As he baton passes. 
into Porygon Z. And uh, I just mark, of course. What is this even gonna do? Sub? No. <laughs> Ender, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just so confused right now. Um, is this man actually using this ladder? This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> is he? No, he can't. He can't PP stall me out of my punches. I'll get a crit before that happens. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes, man. I think I'll just go Volk. And Fire Blast. Watch him sub. Sub until I miss. And that works. Of course. Hey! Such a friend. <laughs> so uh, that was an interesting first battle. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna hop straight into the second one. Uh, I'm just gonna pause it until we find one. So we found a battle against Guess Which Mega and interesting team. Um, cool seeing a Steelix, which I'm guessing is the mess Mega. <laughs> um, Lander so I can be annoying uh, a little. I do have, an I have quite a few checks for though, which is nice. Uh, Volk kind of beats it. Even though Earth Power does a clean 100%. <laughs> but, um, looking like an interesting matchup. Volcarona can definitely win if I can somehow get rid of Exudoral. Um, I do have Garchomp, so I'm not really too worried about it. Um, oh, it's not, um, Bulky though. I normally run Bulky on Hyper Offense, but this is a uh, different team. Um, Altaria can put in a lot of work, especially since it does a Fire Blast. So that he doesn't really have a switch into it at all. So I'm kind of expecting him to lead off with something like maybe Toxic Rape. But um, you could also just lead off with Steelix. I think I'm fine leading off with Garchomp though, just to get up rocks. He's not necessarily forced to spin because his team isn't really weak to rocks, but uh, he also leads off with Landris, which is great for me since I can get up rocks and get off a Dragon Claw, which um, is definitely what I'm going to try and do. Uh, so yeah, it ends up going for his own rocks, so uh, I'm actually fine with that though, because um, I do have Stomi, which can spin against anything. It literally spins against anything apart from uh, Rush Drill. And I get off two Dragon Claws this way, which is amazing. He also HP Ices, so he's going to be taking a uh, Life Orb. I uh, don't agree with HP Icing there, since um, I'm obviously Sash. They're, they're all Sash, <laughs> unless they're Lumberry, but... Um, is there anything you try to switch out to here? No, there's nothing you can. So I'm free to just Dragon Claw again here, and I just get a kill. Um, really. Unless he wants to go out to Keldeo and take like 50% of unnecessary damage, but then that just allows Bishop to come through a lot. Uh, so I'd be absolutely fine with that. Unless it's like Scarf Tar. He has a lot for Bishop, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> he has like this, this, uh, this if it's Scarf. So uh, he goes out to T-Tar, which I'm absolutely fine with. Um, tempted to just Dragon Claw again. If he stays in, then I get a free kill with something. Like, if he stays in and crunches. Um, if he tries to go out to X, I break a potential balloon and uh, get off damage. And I really doubt that he's going to sack off his Tyranitar unless it's Scarf, but... I don't know, it, it looks Scarf. It does definitely look Scarf. But uh, I think I'm fine if it is, because I just get a I just get a kill with Altaria here. Depending on what he wants to do, I'm tend to just go out to Altaria and Fire Blast, expecting uh, Steelix. <laughs> what else can I do? I can set up with Bishop, but uh, I don't think that's the best play since he has a lot that switches in on it. So I think Altaria is the play here, and uh, I'm just gonna Fire Blast. I don't know if Roost on this, which is kind of annoying, but. It is hyper offense, so it's more of an offensive set. Having fire blast on Dragon Dance is actually really nice for things like uh, not Steelix, since Steelix isn't really something you see in OU too much or at all. Just for things like Ferrothorn, though. Um, hopefully, I can connect with uh, fire blast here as I do, which is nice. Uh, I'm not sure if that's EQ range, but I'm not going to go for Earthquake because I'm pretty. Steelix is a defensive monster, and I don't want that thing living. <laughs> So I'm just going to go for a second Fire Blast here, as uh, thankfully I do connect, which is nice. Uh, he gets a free switch out into uh, Exodule here, so he kind of just gets a kill, but I want to see fine with that. I think I'm just going to go 
I mean, what do I even go to here? Because um, he's not spinning, he's definitely iron heading here. He gets a lot more value out of iron head. I think um, Volcarina might be okay because spinning's looking like something I'm not going to be able to do uh, too easily. Do I need Starmie? Without Starmie, I don't really have anything for Keldeo, so kind of. Starmie also puts in work against. Well, it's three ones on his team? Unless it's. This is obviously going to have Sucker Punch, but. Uh, I'm just thinking what I should sack. Um, obviously, Altaria puts in work. Does Altaria put in work, though? I need to get to plus one. It doesn't set up against anything. This beats it. The only thing it beats is Tyranitar, which is at 40. I think I can just sack this. Also, just in case he wants to spin for whatever reason, but he's not going to. So, that's fine. Um, I can actually go out to Starmie here and spin. Would he risk um, staying in, though? I don't think he'd risk staying in. And do I need Volk for too much? Because he might just go Toxicroak on it. Yeah, I really want to spin, because that way I get back my... Um, Sash uses as well, since this is this is um, Sash spam, and uh, both my Bisharp and my Breloom are Sashed, so I can get um, free setup with them if I do keep their Sashes intact. So I think this is my best play. Um, he might stay in an Earthquake here, predicting my Rapid Spin, but I'm honestly fine with that. Uh, I'm not really sure he'll make that risk, but he also might because even if I Hydro Pump and kill him, then he just gets a free switch into Titar and crunches all pursuits from there. So I don't know. I guess we'll see what he's going to do. I would definitely like uh, to keep my sashes, but uh, he goes up to Toxic Oak, which is fine. I'm tempted to switch out against this since I'm pretty sure he's going to sucker. Just I don't really have much to switch into. I guess Volcarina can maybe take a hit. If it's Life Orb, then it can't. The annoying thing is I kind of have to go Bishop against it, but Bishop is like one of my win conditions. It really helps break his team. Uh, Breloom can win. I'm not sure if Landorus is in Muck Punch range, I'm running adamant. I just need to weaken Keldeo a bit. Volcarona can also win. But uh, this Hexagill is definitely annoying. I think I just side shock here. But he just suckers. Sucker was his best play, but I didn't want to really want to switch out because there wasn't really anything that beats him. Uh, I guess I can just go Volcarona here and Fire Blast. I think. I think that's my best play. This revenges it too easily. I think I, got, I just want to keep both my sashes intact, basically. So fire blast or HP ground. I'm not sure if HP ground kills. It probably does after a life orb hit, but I might outspeed. I don't know what's toxic Rick's base speed. I don't know. I never see this thing. You know, you. <laughs> it's 85, so I might outspeed. I'm just gonna fire blast. Um, he ends up going up to Titar though. Hopefully this kills. If it doesn't, that's annoying. So, he can pursue here. To be honest though, will he Stone Edge? I think he has to um, Stone Edge. Because if he lets this get set up then he could just potentially lose. Also if he pursues then I get an SD. Or a knockoff respectively. I think I'd go Braden here. Um, this is difficult. I would like to keep Volcarona because Volcarona is definitely nice against his team. It just kind—I guess I kill every time it comes in, basically. But I need a win condition. I'm not sure what my win condition is. I think Bishop's my win condition. But Keldeo is just really annoying. See, I'm tempted to go Bishop here. If he superpowers, I get free setup with uh, Volk. So just Stone Edges, yeah, that's fine. So um, I'm just going to knock off here on the Keldeo. He's definitely not staying in the Stone Edging again. That would be a terrible play. He might also go up to Toxicroak, which would be annoying, if he does. 
I was thinking that because obviously knockoff is kind of obvious, but I don't outspeed this, do I? So this is kind of an annoying situation. I get the feeling he's definitely going to drain punch though. So kind of tempted to just guard the bulk. I don't even know what this carries. Um, no, he's going to vacuum wave, isn't he? Um, I'm expecting vacuum wave, so I'm just going to go to Volk here. Or Dream Punch. I could have suckered there, but I didn't know if he'd have uh, priority or not. Oh no, his priority is Sucker Punch, obviously. But I don't know why I made that play, because I think I died to Sucker Punch now. Oh well. <laughs> Chokes are us. But he just, um... He doesn't give a sucker for some reason. Uh, I don't agree with that at all. Unless it didn't kill. Like, if it didn't kill, then that was obviously the right play, but if it did, then I don't agree with that at all. So it goes Landris. Uh, this is fine. I think I go... Braden on this? I think I can win with Braden. Uh, potentially. If I sack this here... Then going to Bishop because I know we can Keldeo a bit. It's difficult because I need Keldeo. I need to be t plus two with my Bishop, but I can't get that without like going to Braden here. But then he just goes up to Tita. No, he can't get Sand up. I think I go to Braden. I think that's my only way of winning. Because um, Tyranitar dies to Rocks, he can't actually get Sand up. I just kind of have to hope that. Well, Mark doesn't kill here. I don't think. So this was like probably a huge misplay on my part. But oh well, I don't think I could win this either way. I had a bit, just a bit of an annoying matchup. Braylon put a lot of work to his team, but his team just checks it really well. Like Toxic Group beats it, Caldeo beats it. Well, it doesn't beat it, but it gets rid of the Sash, which is kind of what I needed. Obviously Landris checks it. But yeah, that does nothing. So I'll go Bishop here. And just sucker. He's definitely attacking. Or not. I forgot he had um rocks. <laughs> so uh that's gonna be game. Obviously. Um, I'm just gonna exit out and uh, get the next one. We find it straight away and get some barley. Um, so it should be interesting. Another toxic croak, which is kind of strange and annoying. So I guess we will find out. Um, what could be annoying? Kelly uh, is kind of annoying as always. What else? <laughs> Take down one Pokemon he forfeits. Uh, yeah, Volcarina puts in a lot of work if he's not Scarfed which he isn't because this is a Tyranitar right here. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm just gonna make more spectators. A lot of people here watching uh, Mob. So, Ultaria just wins as well. If I can get rid of Exegel. Man, Sandrush Exegel is really annoying. So, um. I'm going to be looking to do that, but I'm uh, just going to leave Garchomp just to get out rocks. He leads an Andrus, which is fine. Is it going to be Rocks Landris or something? I mean, I'm perfectly fine with his lead because I can get up rocks and a Dragon Claw. So this is cool, a break potential... No, he's Scarf Chomp. Um, okay then. That's actually kind of good for me since I can set up on Scarf Chomp. And the HP is like the last person, so... I can just Dragon Claw this again. Um, pretty much for a free kill. Because there's not nothing you can go out to, maybe Scarf Tar. And I could definitely Earthquake here, I kind of want Earthquake. To be completely honest. But uh, I don't really need to make that play. Because either way I get off damage on something, so I just feel like this is my better play. If I get off Dragon Claw and Titar, then that's great. Although I don't think he would go out to Tita. 
I get the feeling if anything he'd go out to um, Keldeo. Or just stay in and sack this. Yeah, right. I really didn't feel like going for the Earthquake play, although it was tempting. Alright, just set that to plus anyway. Yeah, there were a lot of people talking. <laughs> Alright. So I'm feeling kind of decent about my situation. Toxicroak's definitely going to be really annoying. And um, we're gonna have to spin against something. It goes after this, I don't agree with him going at Takodio at all because it gives me a free spin afterwards. And he has no way of getting up rocks again since I'm pretty sure he's Scarf Chomp. So, um, I'm just gonna have Quake here and sack this off. Because now I just get a free spin. I could also Hydro Pump expecting to run it up, but I don't really need to make that play. Since if he pursues me, then, uh,. I get a free setup with this shop, which is awesome. Or I get a free knockoff on Keldeo, so. I'm just gonna stay in uh, Hydro Pump in case he wants to pursue. Which is amazing because I get rid of Tyranitar. Which means that Bishop can come through really, really nicely uh, later on. If I get to plus two, I think I just win with it, to be honest. Um, honestly, expect him to go. I think I think Breloom's safe for me here, but. Uh... Because it beats, it beats everything apart from Toxicroak, which I don't think he'd go out to. He may though. Toxicroak's not a bad play at all. I could also go um, Volcarona. But I think he's going Extra Drill. Extra Drill beats like, most of my team. But he goes Toxicroak, that's fine. Kind of tempted to Spore. That way I get um free setup with Altaria. And from there I think I just kind of win. So if he gunk shots here, that's perfectly fine by me. Because then I die to uh sand. And um I get the free setup with Altaria. I think sand ends the turn after this one. I'm not hundred percent sure. It has two turns left though, so I don't think it does. So I'm kind of tempted to just Earthquake predicting uh, extra. If it's Balloon, that could be really annoying. But I think he's Life Orb. Just based on um, his team. If he stays in, that'd be kind of weird. So he's not uh, Balloon, which is amazing. So That doesn't actually kill, that's surprising. Although if he's life orb then he just loses. So the question is to sack Volcarona or Bishop here. I think Bishop's better. Hmm. Cause I don't end up sacking Bishop because it comes on on uh But what does Volcarona force out basically? Um, I think he goes into Keldeo either way after this. So I think Bishop's fine here. Which is Earthquake, so if he's Life Orb he'll go down, which is nice. But Bishop really wasn't going to be doing too much with both Toxicroak and uh, Keldeo there. It also stops him uh, waking up with Toxicroak, which is nice. And I'm just going to knock off against this in case it's some subset. because I don't want it um, setting up on me. It ends up being SD, which is fine, I think. I'm not sure if I have speed or not. Hopefully I can live either way. <laughs> if this outspeeds me, it'd be kind of scary. I don't think I have speed. I'm hoping I do. So that's going to be game. So that kind of sucks. I really wasn't expecting Mega Trump, but I guess that's what that's what's good about it. So two losses in a row, kind of a uh, crappy. But uh, how much time are we at? We're at 24 minutes, so I think I get one more. So I get scattered dreams, and he has a lead Braden, which is annoying. Uh, I think I can just lead off my own Braden. Braden puts in a lot of work early game. 
could be his rocker. He doesn't have a rocker to look at. I look at. I think a Fable or um, Exodor could be his rocker. So I think I'm just gonna muck punch here. I am adamant, so he will be able to muck punch me twice before, but he ends up going for bullet seed, hopefully he only gets like two hits. He ends up getting a crit, which is annoying. We're both adamant though, so it's gonna come down to whoever wins his tie. And I'm definitely gonna go for the tie. But he ends up just going out to Dragonite, uh, breaking his multi-scale, okay. Or he ends up being leftovers. <laughs> That's kinda strange. Um Definitely just expecting a dragon type stab here. He has no reason not to. And I don't really need to save this. I'm just gonna rock Doom. It's just extreme speeds, that's fine. Can I go out to Starmie? I think I can go out to Starmie and potentially Psyshock, although that doesn't do enough to rotate onto the point where I to consider it a play. I think Garchomp's fine. His only way of getting rid of rocks is Exodraw, which gets beaten by uh, Garchomp, so... I can get up rocks, and this also limits the amount of times his Charizard can come in. Which also allows my Volcarona to come through uh, late game, which is niche. So I'm tempted to just... No, he's just going to E-speed here. Um, just in case he doesn't, though, I'm just going to Earthquake. Just in case he goes up to, like, Cathedral or something. But I think Ultara is fine here. Even though he does have Ice Beam, it still won't be doing too much. Considering it is a Dragonite after all, <laughs> with uh, leftovers. And I'm uh, kind of tempted to just Earthquake here. Expecting the um, extra to want to come out. Do I need to make that play? I think Return's my better play in general. As he just stays into let his Dragonite die, okay. Goes into this, uh... It might be T-Wave, which could be annoying. Um, I don't really want to go out to Starmie, because Starmie can definitely win. Especially if, in, if he isn't Scarf Drill. So, I'm kind of tempted to just go Volcarona here. Bishop is also tempting. I think Bishop's better. Because um, Volcarona can definitely win, it can set up on Rotom. And um, it outspeeds Scarf Exodus after plus one as well, so I would kind of win. Yeah, I really didn't want to switch in uh, Volcarona on the T Wave right there. So that works out well for me. I can just Iron Head here. Because I have a Rotom, I get paralyzed, no big deal, it wouldn't have done any damage anyway. So, kind of expecting a double into Zard, or a Volt Switch into Zard. So I think I'm just going to SD. These are just Hydros though, which is fine. Um, I'm not really expecting a second Hydro, but I don't think it matters because I set up on Rotom, so I'm just going to Iron Head, expecting Breloom. So I get that right, which is nice. And I'm just gonna suck it here since he goes back into it. Um, I get it low enough to the point where he volts switches it, which is a good plan. His passive volts I can't set up, I guess. Um, this game is looking like so he's actually left over though, which is amazing because my Volcarone is gonna outspeed and fire blast, and Volcarone just gets a kill here. Unless he's like jolly leftovers, which would be really, really, really strange. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure five blast kills, unless I miss. And Aji doesn't, which is surprising. Give me Flame Body. <laughs> Flame Body would be funny either. So um, uh, staying in with Volk here would be a choke. Did I? Yeah, I Mega Doltaria. I think I go out to stun me. But I think he EQs. He can't kill me though, surely. I think I can go down to If he rock slides in, that's absolutely fine. If he gets a crit, um, that doesn't matter at all. Um, it, I mean, it may matter since his Fable could come out and, um, of course, like paralyze me, but 
I miss my fire blast, which sucks. He dragon dances though. Um, this is fine because Altaria can still kill Charizard. Um, I think I've got this game. Because I do have HP ground, which will still hit this thing hard, and I outspeed. So it does 81, which is amazing. So he's in Flare Blitz Recoil now, which he has to go for against Altaria. And I don't really want to. S no, I, I think I'm forced to sack Volk here. He has Fire Punch though, which is fine. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, I just return here. As fun as just literally nothing. He gets a burn though, that's game changing. Uh, potentially. Because it means that I'm forced to go straight into Starmie here. Just to stop him, like, calm minding. But he might just do it anyway, but uh, that kind of sucks since I like, just lose to this now. That, like, really sucks. Why do I keep facing lucky players? It's kind of annoying. Oh well. I guess this is kind of <laughs> this is kind of a crappy life because I went three and well one and three, but what can you do? What can you do when you get hacked out? But uh, that is gonna be it for the video. Uh, I'm just gonna end it there. So uh, hopefully you did enjoy, despite me uh, losing three games. <laughs> so that was kind of bad, but uh, yeah. Uh, see you next time, guys. Peace.